Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Mr. Grable's Grade 3 Math Class, where we talk lots about money, because it has to do with numbers and place value and value and numbers. And we're, of course, on page 27, two tens, seven ones. You know about the tens and ones? And we're talking about dimes, nickels, quarters, loonies, and even pennies today. So practice page 27. 1A says count the money. Write each amount in words. Okay, so as you can see, I put tens. Now, this is just to remind me. Dimes are worth ten cents each. Okay, so we're going to count it up and write it in words. So really counting by tens. You remember? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. So write each amount in words. Now, you're not going to put 130. That's the tricky part. You're actually going to put one dollar because one hundred's a dollar one dollar and thirty cents the thirty has that ir thirty it's a t it's not thirty thirty cents it's a little trickier than it might look okay so one dollar and thirty cents i mean you can write it in the numbers too just to remind yourself click an eu there there it is, a dollar and thirty cents. Okay, so when you try B, it's gonna be using nickels. Okay, so watch the pattern of course, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And if you get to a hundred, that's a dollar. And then how many ever cents? Okay, and C, you have your pattern of quarters, so twenty-five cents, right? Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five. If there's four, that's a dollar. And then again, twenty-five, fifty, seven, that'd be two dollars. And it looks like you do have a couple of dollars there. So maybe two dollars and something. Number two says Carl has four dollars in his piggy bank. All his coins are the same. Oh, that's important. His coins are the same. What coins could he have? How many solutions can you find? Oh boy. So there's lots of different answers to this. Okay, so four dollars. Probably the easiest one you can think of is four loonies, right? Four dollars is basically four loonies. That's an easy one. And another easy one, I would say, is 400 pennies. 400 pennies. And there are many more. So see if you can think of those and add on to that list. As many as you can. Try to use quarters, nickels, dimes, even other money. And lastly, number three, tell how many of each coin make $1. Okay, so we're trying to make a dollar by pennies. So how? So basically, you're going to count by ones. How many ones make a hundred? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to do nickels. How many fives make a hundred? Then you're going to do dimes. How many tens make a hundred? And then you're going to do quarters. How many twenty fives make a hundred? And we didn't even put loonies on here because you know it's one. Of course, one loonie is one dollar. There you go, getting more and more familiar with money. Keep working at it, keep practicing those numbers, and you're getting better at your math. Have a great day, bye-bye.